Nanocores give your ship a new appearance and the ability to change the colors. A skin also changes the appearance of your ship, but with the combination of a nanocore, you together with a skin can now change the skin's color, making your ship even more unique. This is why some skins are more wanted than others, and in this video I will try to explain the value of skins. Alright, I already regret making this video, and how will I possibly make this video interesting? A new player might wonder what a skin is in EVE Echoes, and why not use a nanocore? And if this video ain't explaining it good enough, then I have a nanocore video explaining this as well. And check that one out so you get the right nanocore for your ship. But let's start the skin video. When you navigate the ship details, you can view the basic skin appearance of a specific ship. This however is not skins only, on this page there are some nanocores as well. But this is the only way that we can browse through skins of a specific ship. Some skins in this game are cheap and that's mostly because they are given out for free during events or handed out together with Concord Pass. Stuff like the Holy Throne, the Wealth, the Exoplanet, the Okra skins and High Noon skins are usually very cheap. And this is generally across all the ships. Prices can be below 10 million to maybe 200 million, depending on the ship type. Other skins like the Sunset, the Water, the July, the Golden Slumber, the Rose Thorn, the Dawn skins and the Late Night and the Prayer skins is skins that generally are a bit more expensive. They are about 50 to 100 million depending on the ship. Reason is mostly because it's a later skin that still are in circulation. I want to say this is first a generalization of a bunch of skins but of course some ship skins are more valuable than others of the same ship skin type. A prayer skin for example for a less used battlecruiser can be cheaper than a more common one for a battleship. But also many skins come in opt boxes, boxes that we can choose the outcome. And those skins tend to miss some obsolete ships, since not many players extract those. And that's making some weird skins more rare than others. It's mostly dependent on supply and demand, of course, and it's not necessary how expensive the ship actually were upon purchase. Some skins are hard to come by today, and some skins was hard to come by, but then got released again, making the prices drop. And some hard to come by skins is the Cold Iron, the Wick Me, the Erasto, and the Crucial. And of course the Titanium Silver skins. Also the Fire skins, the Smooth skins and the Red Ochre skins. These are only available as random loot from game gifts. So no opt boxes. And to mention one more, a famous one, the Heartbreaker skin. Released the first year of the game and was not seen again until recently. Making prices go from 500 million to then 7 to 9 billion isk, and now down again at 1 to 2 billion isk each. This can happen to any skins we have today and that we might get in the future. But let's delve into what some of the rarest skins are today, and what they generally would go for in a price. Let's begin with smaller ships and we move up from there. Frigate class skins. We got the Snowfield skin. It's only available for Succubus and the Daredevil. This skin is today easy around 1 to 2 billion isk. You're not able to get this anymore but a few have saved them so just ask around. The Rose Thorn for faction frigates are around 500 million isk and surprisingly quite rare even if it was recently introduced. Most of the Rose Thorn skins are plentiful but there are a few ships, especially the faction ones, that have risen in price. Within frigates the Bull skin is only available for Dramiel and is around 1 billion isk today but you can also get them by farming the ancient remains. Some elusive frigate skins is the Ghost Bird and Marty Kraken for Ibis. I've only seen them a few times on the market and of course I bought them. Also a short distance delivery skin and the Edge of Edge for Velator are not seen on the market that often. The Glory of Akir and the Nephantar for the Reaper is less rare but can still sell for just below 100 million and even more. Also the Jagged skin and the Code Iron skin for the Imperor is expensive if even found. The Jagged skin is more common of them all. Cold Iron is generally a skin that sells good to the right buyer. It's going for quite high price. 
and one reason can be that the cold iron is black in its base and with the nano core you can make those ships stand out a lot more compared to other ones. The destroyer skins. Most skins here unfortunately are quite cheap and this can of course be because less players fly them. But the rarer ones is the Halorange skins and the even more expensive Grimace one. The Halorange going for 300 million and the Grimace going for a bit over a billion. Both are almost 3 years old and as of today still not available. Going for cruisers, the Snowfield skin for the Gila and the Cinnabar is climbing in price. Be happy if you find it below 2 billion isk. And the Gila Rose Thorn is also expensive but barely over a billion. The Cinnabar and the Phantasm has a Heartbreaker skins and are around 1 billion isk. With the Cinnabar Bull skin over 2 billion isk. For the Empire Faction skins it's either a few million isk but they are the rare few that sells for 500 million or even above. Like the titanium silver ones that would go for billions. But likewise here we got the Grimace skins for at least a billion isk and the Halorange for just below that. Rose Thorn here is around 500 million isk unless it's a less used chip. On the battle cruisers, this category is a mess. Generally most skins are around 2 million isk to 300 million isk but there are a few more expensive ones. The Snowfield Adventure skin are extremely hard to get and not available anymore so you need to find a seller. The red copper skins for Prophecy is also very hard to find and I've never seen that one. So let me know if you have that one in the comments. The Battlecruiser Tiger skins and the Bull skins are rare but also available to get through the Scholar points. So if the prices climb, the people will flood the market. We also got the Beat skins. They vary from 200 to 800 million isk. The Beat skins are mostly rare since not many bought those skins due to its, well, let's just say untraditional skin. On the battleships, we got the Armageddon, the Scorpion, the Dominics and the Typhoon Fire skins which are priceless. I've never seen them on the market, but I bet they sell good if they arrive. I do have a vague memory that they were available early in the game, and I'm talking early. But also the suit, the titanium, the ochre and the red copper skins are never to be found across all categories. Tiger skins are around 200 million, the prayer skins are around 100 million normally, but slowly climbing. The late night skin is below 50 million for some and few other like Myrmidon, the late night can climb to 300 million. The high noon is around 10 million overall and the star beat skins are 500 million to a few billion isk. For the pirate faction ships generally they are expensive and especially the star beat skins. Heartbreaker skins are around 2 billion isk, the same with the bull skin and the tiger skins that also goes for 2 billion isk. For the industrial ships they are quite a few and when there is a skin out it's usually expensive. But the few gems that you should look out for is the Orca Grimace skin, the Orca Starbeat skin, the Cryos Titanium, the Tyra Red Ochre skin and the Best Over Copper skin. These skins probably sells for the price it's put up for. But now and then you can find it for just a few million isk. Before we get into capitals let's bring up the capsule skin of note. The Neon Rain capsule skin is rarely found on the market. It's usually not less than 4 billion isk. I would assume it's even more today. So if you have it, also let me know in the comments. Capitals Capitals is a hard price check, but usually capital player spends a ton of isk. And it's only fair that if you have a skin that they want, you make them pay the price. Usually capital skins goes for 1 billion to 15 billion isk depending on the demand of course. But I personally also sell the capitals and the super capital skins for at least 5 to 6 billion. Skins may seem useless, but it's a fact that many players enjoy customizing their personal ships. And you can't do that with just a nano core. You need a fitting skin, or maybe the rarest one, to really flex. I hope this helped you guys both in value the skins that you have in your hangars, or maybe get some more information on the skins that you want to get. I host a nano core and skin competition once a month so check that out if you feel it's something that you like. And do not forget to subscribe and like the video and I see you guys again. Have you been on the internet again? It costs a lot of money. Yeah that's fine, that's fine, he's dying man. Keep nuking the first yeah. one, I can tank this, this is no problem at all.